Hello everybody, Michael here doing the Newslock Challenge for Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. The way the Newslock Challenge works is that it affects which characters you can have in your party. And it's not really going to have any effect uh, from here on out, mainly because we're at the end of the game and there's only one more, uh, I mean there's only one new character we can get. And the game forces us to get this character, it's actually the princess. Princess Alinsi is going to join our party. And she's going to be ridiculously underleveled and not very useful. As we'll see here in just a moment. So, uh, Princess Alencia, we can't kick her out of the party. Okay, so she's level one. I guess she's got some good defense and good resolution. But, uh, I, I mean, single digit strength. She's not going to be good at fighting at all. Okay, so I'm supposed to have 19 units at this point in the game. I've got 11 Yep. Mm-hmm. Not a whole lot of fighters here. Okay, so this map is pretty simple. Uh, basically, it's a huge map. What I need to go is reach the... What I need to do is reach the upper left-hand corner. That's all. And it looks like the enemies are grouped together in various groups. So the best way through this particular battle is actually to kind of stay in place and just let the enemies come to you. Uh because the enemies are kind of perfectly positioned, so... Now let's move everybody a little bit to the left. How's that? So that will make things... At least I'll get slightly closer to the end tile, although the end tile is super far away. And you get some bonus experience if you beat this chapter in under... 14 turns or something like that? I think it's under 14. I could be wrong. Okay, here we go. Everybody, Everybody's all ready for, for those enemies. Let's go. But yeah, basically I'm going to try to fight my way to the upper left while fighting off just this humongous group of enemies. Just a ton of enemies here. <laughs> Okay, and now the enemies are close enough for me to fight. Uh, now we now we just get to fight those enemies. So Z Hark should kill this one, no problem. Largo might be able to kill this enemy. No, he's not going to kill it, but he's going to do some damage. Good job, Largo. Ooh, and Largo took no damage. Very nice. That's good. I like it when that happens. Let's have Kaylil. Uh, actually, you know what? I think this would be a good chance to bring in the princess. Let's see how much damage she does. So she can do like 14 damage to this enemy. Fortunately, she's got a weapon. Uh, she's the only one who can use that weapon, but she's got a weapon with unlimited uses, which is nice. That's nice. Okay, so with that enemy cleared out of the way, uh, I can come over here and face off against this enemy. Let me see, 32 enemies. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, not, not, not much in the terms of strategy here at the start of the battle, like I said. Just fight whatever enemies come to us while slowly making our way left. And the good thing about having so many enemies is that our character should get lots of levels. Is this is a point in time where our character should be maxing out on levels. just because we're so, so close to the end of the game. Okay, Joffrey. Can easily kill this one enemy. I'll move him down a little bit, just so he'll be out of range of the other enemies. These other enemies to the north. They look nasty. Did I 
Titania. Yep, finishes off that enemy as I expected. Tanith should do something. Yeah, okay, so Tanith can kill this enemy, although I want to look out that enemy has a good chance of doing a critical hit. do here. Okay, so those three enemies come forward. All the other enemies come forward. So here I'll basically have to split my party into two, two parts. Now one, one, one part will just fight the enemies to the left, the other part fights the enemies to the right. That doesn't look so bad, and Ranulf... Ranulf transforms. Does that mean he can kill this armor like one hit kill? Because that would be good. No, he cannot. Okay, and one of these enemies probably has a Laguz bow. Yep, okay, so that enemy has a Laguz bow. We want to look out for that. Let's have Ranulf kill the farthest away enemy. Ooh, Ranulf. Here we go. Okay, so that's... Well, we kill this one then. Oh, hey, got a silver sword, okay. Uh, yep, Soren should be able to finish off this one. get some easy experience for the princess. <laughs> she does six damage. Oh, ow. And that's it. That is her entire turn. Okay, let's see what Joffrey's skills with the uh, lance are like. Yep, there we go. Probably because that enemy was an archer, so um, using archery against that enemy was just not ideal. But looks like using a lance against that enemy works just fine. Largo can go after this one. This isn't so bad. Yeah, our heroes should be able to finish off these enemies. I don't know, we've got four enemies and how many heroes left? Four heroes left. So I need a one hit kill for every single every single one of them. Okay. And I've got five. I've got five. Okay, I'm good. I'm good to go. Seaheart uh, might be able to finish off this one. Yep. This is going smoothly. Uh, I'm going to try to beat this battle as quickly as possible. Uh, simply because we've got three chapters before the final chapter. And it'd be nice if I could get three in one video. Although that's probably asking a little bit too much. I'm still going to go for it. Let's see. Is thunder? Yeah. Thunder. Thunder. Yes. She can 
can also go left. Okay, let's see what the enemies do here. Okay, so those enemies are just gonna go down south to face Ike. I think maybe, maybe, maybe I dodged one group of enemies. Hmm? Ike kills himself here? Yep, good job, Ike. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we've got some enemies, a small group of enemies to the north that we managed to avoid. Not that big a deal. Oh, I should have kept that Laguz bow for Joffrey. That would have been a good, good use of him. It's okay, he managed to kill the Laguz one turn anyway. We'll, we'll bring out the Laguz bow for him and the chapter with the Laguz, which is coming up really quickly. See if I can get somebody else to kill this archer. Tanith, you're generally good. Okay. So yeah, by killing that archer, I think, yeah, I can move Ike forward a little bit more because that archer was kind of in the way. Kind of. Soren, meanwhile, uh, yeah, Soren and Ranulf, we, we, the, 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 those, those guys had better hurry. Otherwise, they'll just get attacked by those big enemies to the, to the north. I'll just have Tanith um, summon Pegasus Knights and they can fight those enemies to the north. Why not? I don't feel like dealing with those enemy reinforcements. I feel like going straight north here uh, and a couple of turns uh, winning the battle. Yep, see, those enemies are just going straight south. Oh, more enemy reinforcements. Hmm. Well, that's not entirely unexpected. Okay. Ike, Ike is good, so I'm just going to move him straight up north so he can fight those enemies all by himself. And then all my fighters here will just uh, finish off these enemies. Hopefully not Tanith, though. Hopefully I can do this without Tanith, because like I said, I'll try to get her to uh, summon some Pegasus reinforcements for us. Okay, so Largo... Let's go with Largo killing this enemy. Actually... Yeah, no. Kalil kills this enemy, Largo weakens the Lagoos. Joffrey kills the one remaining flyer, and Toraneo um, finishes off the Lagoos. Anything goes badly, Titania is there to uh, help, help with the one enemy that did not get destroyed. Or Toraneo finishes off this one, whatever. Silencia's almost with everybody else. And off two. So call reinforcements with her. Titania can go up. Ooh, Titania can kill this one. So the enemies will, um... Hey, I don't know about that. 
I oh oh jeez okay. Let's not have Titania. Let's just have Titania go over here. I mean here. So enemies will kill themselves on Ike and Titania. So I'm told one strategy people have is to uh, you know if you've got a Pegasus Knight character like like Tanith to have her just fly straight up. You know, have her pick up Ike, fly straight up left, and then drop Ike down where the boss is. That will get you to the boss in uh, a few um, uh, a few less turns. I don't know how many turns that saves. I've heard tales of people being able to beat this map in three turns. Um, that seems crazy. That does seem crazy. Okay. Yep. Okay. So Pegasus Knight. Deal with these these two soldier reinforcements. And that way, those soldier reinforcements will not be bothering um, poor. Oh man, I am just one away from hitting the boss. Now that's what I call just just unfair. I might as well just use the regal sword here. Ike's getting a special sword next chapter, so might as well finish the uh, super good sword while I can. Okay, who needed healing? Because uh, the princess also is a healer. Yay, and that probably gives her way more experience than fighting does. Poor princess. We like you, you're just not on our list of good fighters. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Let's go with this. Yep. Yeah, I exploited that enemy's weakness pretty easily, huh? How's that? Yep, got a critical hit against that enemy. 54% chance of getting a critical hit. Do not get used to seeing that. <laughs> that is not something which happens a lot. Oh man, all these enemies are like close to fight our heroes. Our heroes are kind of like far away enough. So, Joffrey can kill the one with the bow. strong enough. Yeah, this enemy spread is just awful. It's kind of impossible for me to, uh, you know, do much about it. Previously in the chapter, we saw all the enemies were kind of grouped together, and it was nice. Here they're all spread out. Oh wow, that was a great level up. Good job, Titania. Tanith. She can call more Pegasus Knights as reinforcements. And Kalil can handle it. Uh, I mean, stay over here. So now we get to watch the Pegasus Knights waste time. Uh, but hey, 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 they're saving time for me, so I, I, I will not complain. Maybe they'll be able to actually kill the- yep, 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 yep. Okay, so if, if, if they are able to kill uh, this particular enemy, then I won't complain. So that'll make it pretty even- yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next turn they, they kill that enemy. Okay, so I don't think this pretty uneven enemy spread is getting any more even. Well, I was hoping for something like this, that the enemies would um, just destroy themselves on Ike. But it looks like they're, they're also lured by Titania. Titania, who's, whose defense appears to be failing. What? Titania, no. Oh boy, three more characters 
all mages, it looks like. Okay. <laughs> Maybe Largo can finish off something. Largo's like the only one who's close enough to do anything. There we go. Good job, Largo. Tania getting a crit. She also needs healing, so I'll move her back. Joffrey might not be able to get a crit there unless he's got... Yeah, let's go for this. He'll need at least one crit in order to defeat this enemy. Yep, two of them. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna max out really soon. Okay, so that's just have I kill one of these enemies. Ike should max out soon as well. Ike's, Ike's now 17. So Ike and Joffrey are both level 17 at this... Oh, he's 15. Joffrey! Speed it up, buddy. Just check the enemy range. How are enemy... Oh, they've got those magic... Okay, one of them's got a magic thing which attacks from a huge, huge distance. Yuck. Okay, heal Titania there. Hark and the other is north. Might even be worth it for. Oh wow! Look at Kaylil. Okay, so she can she can do some pretty good damage to the boss here. Let's go with. I think this is the one that has a super huge range, so I'm gonna try to kill that one first. Yeah? No, and that did not seem to turn off the range at all, so... That also, that one also has Meteor. Well, hopefully we can get Meteor by fighting that enemy. Or Ranulf. Good fighter. Never really been a part of any much, any of these battles so far. Okay. Okay, so these, these, these Pegasus Knights just should be able to destroy this soldier. And I guess the definition of destroy here is slowly breach the soldier, because it looks like the soldier's hiding. Yeah, it looks like he's hiding in trees, so nobody will be able to attack him. Okay, let's see. Okay, this enemy goes after Ranulf. Yeah, good thing I killed the one magic user. Otherwise, um, they both would have attacked Ranulf and killed Ranulf that turn. Um, enemy leaves his hiding spot. Is that a wise decision? Oh no, he could go back. Yep, went right back. Okay. Looks like the boss is weak to magic, so we're gonna bring Soren and Kalil um, there as soon as we possibly can. I'm not sure Ike can defeat the boss on his own. I think the magic users might be necessary. We'll see. Okay, so this enemy has a spear and a rune sword, so he is healed when he does damage. So Ike. 
as we can see, I c actually two turns Ike kills the boss. Two to three turns he kills the boss, and boss can't crit him, so. Yeah, let's just do that. One turn, Ike kills the boss. Yep. Good job, Ike. You did it, Ike. Okay, and we got his Rune Sword. The, the one, like I said, heals him while he uh, defeats enemies. Let's get Princess Alencia some EXP here, although I'm probably not going to use her again. Ranulf some EXP because I feel like I've just been neglecting him. Okay, who else? Z Hark as my main sword user. And I think Joffrey's the only one who could possibly hurt an enemy next turn. Yep, because we've got no other enemies. Well, that went well, and we are well before the, like, uh, you know, uh, beat the level on turn 13, get extra experience points. So great, we've got lots of extra experience points, and uh, when I go back to, uh, when I go back to base, I'll hand out those experience points. Only one enemy that can move. Oh, oh wait, there's probably the, uh, also... Okay, so I'm like 26 minutes in. Hmm. It'd be nice if I could get three battles in one video. I don't know. Next battle's also kind of complicated. Okay. Great. So that went well. Next battle is going to be inside a castle where uh, Ike is going to fight the Black Knight, that evil, evil villain who killed his father. Okay, so outfits. Uh, let's get that back. Ike's okay with that stuff. Uh, Alincia. I'm just not going to use you, okay? I don't want you to die, Princess, because as we uh, kind of saw, um, if, if the Princess or Ike dies, it is an instant game over. Here we go. Use somebody had weapons they couldn't use. Okay, Ranel. It was Ranel. Let's get rid of your short axe. Trade it for a silver axe, shall we? Our killer one works fine, I guess. Okay, giving everybody lots of levels here. can max out Ike, um, Torneo. Maxing out Joffrey would be pretty easy. <laughs> Let me just max out Joffrey all the way. Sure, why not? Joffrey's pretty, pretty good here. Good level up. Only two more, Joffrey. Good, okay. So, anybody else who's close to level up? I mean, let's get Seahark some levels. I'm not so sure about Titania. Always seems to be a, a guessing game. It's like, is this a character that I will use in the next battle? In which case, I probably shouldn't, like, level them up like this. I should just let them level up naturally by fighting enemies next, next battle. Hot 
I've still got like 5,000, 5,000 points though. Let's get Ranulf some levels, even though I never use him. He's a great character, I just don't really get a chance to use him. Tanith, yeah, okay, here we go. Just make Tanith our flying powerhouse, how's that? Tanith, that's not being a powerhouse. I mean, wonder if the stats of the Pegasus Knights that she summons are, like, directly related to her stats. Because that would be... I don't know. That, I mean, that, that would be interesting if that's the case. Okay, now Tanith's leveled up. So Tanith and Joffrey are now all 100%. They're all 100%. So get Titania up a bit. Ugh, that wasn't very good. Let's try again, Titania. got some max out characters. Let's just get Soren and Kalil uh, a level each, and then I'll just stop this. This takes forever. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay, and we've got some supports. So let's see, and Joffrey can be best friends. Kalil and Joffrey, also best friends. Tarneo and Largo, best friends as well. That's it. Okay. So, here's the castle. Here's the castle. And, uh, let me see. The map is... Oh. Okay, well, let me do the pause button map thing. Okay, so a uh, pretty simple map. Uh, we either go left or right or forward. Okay, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger. Okay, let's go right. Let's go right this time. Uh, we don't want our magic units to get badly hurt, so. Oh, darn, I was gonna leave Valencia behind. Oh well. Yep. Let's just move everybody right here. Enemies, I'm sure, will catch up with us and fight us from behind. He'll get hurt. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, badly positioned Ranulf there. Oh well. Yeah, and these soldiers look like they're they're nothing. They're nothing to worry about. Stronger weight? No, Zihar kills it. Yeah, okay then. Um, Zihark is just gonna solo this level. <laughs> it looks like. My goodness. So we've got thieves here, and that's that's sort of the reason why going right is a good idea. We've got two thieves. Oh, that's cute. You want to fight? Oh, wait. Soren cannot double this enemy? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I thought Soren would be able to defeat that enemy easily. Sorry, Ranulf. Okay, let me 
Valencia gets her level up. Her long lost level up. Seahark was just soloing this, so let's let's just have him let's just give him another chance to solo. Meanwhile, all these enemies here in the back. Hmm, okay, we're gonna have to send some people left to get those enemies there. These enemies can't attack from a distance, so I'll give um, the... Oh yeah, the imagine uh, Not the Imaginary, but the, the Brave Lance. Let's get him a Silver Lance, though. Brave Lance is a great weapon. I don't want to waste it on uh, these, these wimps. Okay, enemies can still get Soren. Okay. Let's just have Tornado rescue Soren here. Okay, little there. Ike there. Oh, wait, I want Ike North so we can fight the boss, right? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, that enemy can attack from a distance. Whatever. Okay, well that's a useful item. It'll let us get through doors. I don't need it though. I'm gonna use these thieves. I mean, those thieves are just gonna open all the doors for me. And yep, that'll basically be it. Joffrey finishes off this character. We can continue going to the right now. Yeah, have her heal. Heal Largo. It's just a high quarter, everybody. Right here. Here. Characters with less of a pain, and I'll make sure to drop Soren right now. No more enemies are gonna go after me except this one, right? Yep, that's it. Oh wow. Huh, that enemy just destroys Seahark, but Seahark gives as good as he got. They basically had the exact same attack pattern. Okay then. Princess Alencia too far away. No, she's not too far away. Ike. Seahark. And yeah, this is the fastest way through the battle because I'm kind of ignoring the entire left-hand side of the uh, of of this uh, level. Looks like we have lots of enemies that can attack from a distance, just just to make that harder for us. Ooh, Largo, Largo! Please don't get killed by the next feral one, okay? Other one's totally gonna attack Largo, right? Yep, Largo's dead. Okay. Goodbye, Largo. Yeah, that was sad. Okay. Um, very sad. Let's see if I can get Kayla or somebody to kill this. Yep. Go. Okay, everybody, your new tar 
circuit is over here, where the boss is. Okay, what am I doing? I don't know. Um, Seahark is not injured anymore. Okay, Seahark here. I'll just let all the other characters decide where they want to stand. Okay, so Tanith was close enough to be able to hit that uh, magic user, and that's what my brain was trying to tell me. Or not. I don't know. Maybe I was just playing around with the characters because I like playing around with positioning and stuff. Poor Ranulf. Okay, so we'll try to kill those thieves. Along with all the enemies we've got, we just ran off and finish off that enemy. Chest key. Okay, Ike. Where this Ike can go is here, so let's have him finish off this one, unless. Huh. Both weapons do the same amount of damage. And I get to crit anyway, so it doesn't really matter how much damage the weapons do. Okay. Seahark uh, might be able to hit this. Yep, kill that thief. Princess, attack this thief. Mm, I don't know if I can kill that Laguz or not. That's a pretty strong enemy. So I'll just have Tana uh, finish off this this one. Titania can't kill this enemy. This enemy's um, alive no matter what. There we go. Okay. Don't have to worry. And then we'll let the other characters decide where they want to go. Healing Ranulf, yeah, let's make that a priority. <laughs> I'm glad Seahark and Ike are doing so well. Oh man, Seahark, what kind of level up is that? He does plenty of damage to it. And transforms back. Okay, good timing there with that. Heal Ranulf. just don't remember what this particular boss is weak to or what this boss is like, so uh, let's just hope I do well against this boss. Might be a good, good time to use Joffrey's Brave Lance, so he can get four attacks at once. Though, I'm sure if this game is... I, I mean, the, the people who made this game are 
pretty good about planning for things like that, so they probably made it so that won't work. Okay, let's get a character who doesn't have full levels um, to finish off this enemy. Here, I might be able to just, just defeat the boss in one turn, end battle. Not end chapter, though. We've got two battles in this chapter. Second battle is Ike and his sister Mist. Uh, she's dead, so she's not going to be part of it. So it's just going to be Ike. Just Ike. He's finally going to get that magic sword that I've been talking about for a while. It's so sad, it's such a good sword, and we only, we're only we only going to use it for three, three, three battles. Okay, so how much damage can Ike do here? Ike can do um, 28 damage against that boss. Fair amount of damage. Let's see what Joffrey can do here against this boss. Joffrey can do 14. What if I use my Brave Lance? Joffrey can do 12. I mean 20. Okay, so the enemy himself has a Brave Lance, I see. Okay, so that did not work too well. Boss only um, vaguely injured. Let's see what Titania and Tanith can do. Tanith will take uh, a lot of damage, but she'll give like 22 damage. Titania can kill the boss here. That would be great. Give her uh, a good level up. Let's leave for Silver Lance is any more likely... Okay, yeah. For Silver Axe is more likely to win. Oh good, and she gets the... She gets the occult. So that's useful for her to learn. And there we go. Okay, so that's not so bad, and I've still got some time left. Okay, so Ike is escaping here and totally avoiding the battle. That's the fastest way through that particular battle. Don't fight it. Yes. Yeah. Don't 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 actually be part of that battle is the fastest way through it. Okay, final chapter besides for the end game. Final chapter besides for the end game. Let's try to zoom through it. Okay, Ike Ike um Ike no longer needs these swords. Now he's got Ragnell. Okay, so that's the magic sword that he's got, and it is amazing. It allows him to attack from, uh, like, two squares away. Two squares away, and I don't think any of these other characters need any... Yeah. They're all good, except maybe you, Joffrey. Let's get rid of your killer bow. And, um... Yeah, let's give him... Let's give him a Laguz bow. Two Laguz bows. You might want a Laguz weapon for this particular chapter, just because we're going to be facing a lot of them. So let's give Seahark, let's give away his silver sword and give him that Laguz sword instead. The Laguz Slayer. Have him equip. Equip. The Laguz Slayer. Good. EXP. Uh, I like it. Look at Ike. Ike is doing fantastic. Ike is great. Uh, you know, I'm a little worried about what I should do with my bonus EXP here. Let's so just level up some characters. for Z-Heart, and then, and then I'll just let the next battle decide, you know, I'll use all the remaining um, level ups next battle. Okay, so for skills, um, she gets, I've got a bunch of skills which I don't use. Okay, so Astra, so that means he will, okay, he does five damage, 
the really fancy one is um is the uh the um the occult which changes with every single character flare magic resistance by half nice um joffrey yeah let's go with joffrey okay so joffrey gets rid of paragon he doesn't need it he's full hp and we'll give him soul so that means he heals himself on enemies just like ike This is a Lagoos chapter. All the enemies we fight are Lagoos. And, um, oh, we get a new character? Really? Okay. Well, I still, oh, Princess Alencia isn't here right now. Right, okay. So she's not here and our new character is Ina. That's Ina. Everybody is just going to be a super fantastic fighter. Um, yeah. Part of the reason this battle, uh, this battle is going to be super easy. I've got a Lagoo Slayer, so Seahawk's just going to destroy all the Lagoos here. But uh, part of the reason it's simple is because we've got the Hawk King. He's going to be fighting with us, and he is just plain amazing. So uh, it's pretty much impossible for him to die. In fact, you know, if you were really lazy. <laughs> you could probably just sit back and he would win this battle all by himself. But it looks like my characters all brought their A game to the party, so they're they're going to be helping out. And yeah, let's just meteor cuz I'm not going to be using meteor in the final battle. Uh, the boss can only be hurt by Ike and a Lagoos Royal. So that's that's something to worry about for the final battle. So I mean, um, so Meteor's got not so many um, fancy uses anymore now. Wow, enemy does zero damage to Tornado. That's sad, enemy. So this battle, the only thing you have to worry about is the fact that um, one of the enemies has sleep and that's it. So let's show off Ike's new weapon, the Ragnell. Uh, like I said, he attacks from a distance of two, and he's guaranteed to one-hit kill any any enemy. So it's a definitely definitely a good weapon. I feel really angry with him for just hiding that weapon in his backpack for most of the game. Because he had the weapon with him the whole time. He picked it up in Chapter 6, but he, he just didn't use it. He just didn't realize it was a, this, this is a magical weapon. Come on, Ike. Come on, Ike. Pay more attention to your surroundings, bro. <laughs> you, can, you, 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 you can do it. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna use Meteor here. I'll just use. I'll have her use that on, say, the boss for this this chapter. How's that? That'll probably be a good use of it. Or maybe even the enemy with sleep. That would also be a good use of that particular um, far off damage dealing thing. I should see which enemy is the one that, that um, can attack from super huge distance. What? Is this a character who's not a Lagoos? When did... Huh? Okay, so mostly Lagoos. Okay, looks like we've got some non Lagoos enemies here. That's a cutscene there that I'm skipping with with uh, the King of Crows, that one who was like post challenge for us in that one cha uh, one chapter. Okay. 
free to kill this one with the Lagoo's bow. And then I'll just send him forward. Might want to be careful about this dragon. That dragon is the only character who you cannot really one-hit kill. All the other characters are just monstrous, but... I mean, all the other characters are pretty pretty easy enough to kill. Besides for that one, it's a dragon. It's a very scary dragon. Hopefully Tanith doesn't die here. That would be sad if she did. I'll just run her back over here for some healing. Yep, better safe than sorry there. Oh, hey, and Soren le leveled up his weapon. Oh, that's good. This weapon, which isn't actually a weapon at all. You know, she was the boss that one chapter. Now she's in our party. Okay, so, um, Hawk King is gonna do some damage here. Yep, Hawk King kills that enemy in one turn. Good job, Hawk King. So, yeah, this is basically a good example of what I meant. Like, the one enemy that I'm not guaranteed to kill in one turn, the Hawk King destroys in one turn. Granted, it is because he got a critical hit, but still. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hawk King doesn't need to worry. None of these enemies can hurt him. see it probably best if I had Ike in this situation instead of the Hawk King because Ike with his weapon that can attack from a distance of two squares is uh, is really good. He'd be able to counterattack all those mean enemies who are attacking from a distance and Ina is transforming. Okay, so who has sleep? It is you. You have sleep. The one on the right has sleep. So I want Kalil to defeat that Seahark with his Lagoo Slayer here. Should be able to kill one of these enemies. Yep, this one works. He's healing himself on this enemy. Knew it was a good idea to give him that, that particular skill. Also would have been a good idea for me to give that to Titania. She's generally on the front lines. characters. You're, you're being kind of sad now with your inability to help. It's okay. We still love you. Okay. There we go. Not two enemies left now. Enemy's gonna try to cast sleep on someone, I imagine. Okay, that one missed. No damage. 
damage to Ranulf. Ha! You call that a fight, Crow? Ooh, boss. Okay. I Okay. Um, oh my. Joffrey. Um, okay. Better heal yourself against an enemy. Quick, Joffrey. Okay. So things just went from super fine to not so fine. So let's just have Joffrey. Like he should Lagu's bow here and hopefully he'll heal himself on one of these. No, he does not. So I'm just gonna move him move him far right here. Let's get a chance. Let's see what Ina looks like. Ina. Okay, fire. Yeah, she's just a fire breathing dragon. exactly what you expect then. <laughs> Ike, our main fighter, into the fray here. Enemies will go after him, but I don't have to worry. He'll heal himself on them. A couple of feral enemies here that looks, look like they're doing too much damage. Seahark's okay, I just don't think I I don't don't think he can handle being attacked by two dragons at once. We'll see. He does have the Lagoo Slayers, so that might be able to protect him. Art will allow him to kill enemies, allowing more enemies to take their place, and then and then like Spelling is doom. Don't know. Okay. And, uh, yeah, let's. Just... Oh wow, she can't use meteor here. Where can you use meteor to help Ike out? There. Okay. That does nothing. Okay. Never mind, Kayla. We'll just hide in the health hedge. Tiburn goes after one enemy. Okay. Still have to worry about that one enemy with sleep. Trying to cast sleep on Ike, I see. Okay. Missed. Good. That also missed. Also good. Enemies go for Titania rather than uh, Z Heart. That's interesting. Oh, she might die here. Wow! Wow! Oh! Okay, so uh, Titania looks like she's one of the characters who does not die for real. Um, she, she stays alive for cutscenes. Good for her. Wow, poor Titania, though. Like, yeah, poor Titania. If Seahark dies here, I'm gonna be mad. Why didn't they all go after Ike like they were supposed to? were not listening when I talked about my plans for this this turn. Okay. Well, at least Zehark was paying attention. He he's doing pretty well with his Lagoo's bow. Okay. I finish off. No, 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 no. Oh, I meant for him to hit the enemy with sleep. Game, what are you doing? You're playing games with me and I don't like it. Wait, how much damage does this enemy do? 28 damage to Z-Hark. Z-Hark's gonna go away now. 
he's just gonna leave. What about you, Joffrey? Oh, jeez. I forgot Joffrey's also badly injured. Okay, um... Jeez, oh, okay. Um, Ina might be able to draw their attention away. Uh, Tarinio, let's throw him here just so he's kind of blocking the enemy pathway. Yeah, there's no way for me to get Soren healed here to heal Joffrey. Unless Ranulf Ranulf came here. Ranulf will take lots of damage, so I'm just gonna throw him here. Oh, that doesn't quite clear a pathway to Joffrey yet, though. Let's just heal the Hark then. Hope Joffrey doesn't get killed. That would be the worst. That, yeah, that would be really awful. Okay, and of course Tiburn doesn't help me by killing a dragon. Okay, boss goes after Ike. Okay, good. Oh no, 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 oh, 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 I hate this battle. Yeah, those dragons, those dragons, that is just awful. If only he had healed himself one more time with that healing attack. Well, let's finish off the boss. Not too many characters, and not too many enemies left. Zehark can finish off. No, I mean, Zehark won't finish off this one. Unless he does. Okay. Well, I get to go into the final battle with weak units. It's two of my best units die. Titania and Joffrey. Oh, that's just... Yeah. That's just plain all. That is, yeah. Oh, here we go, some more enemies. Oh boy, so this will give me a chance to uh, level. Oh yeah, Ike, Ike is still not level level 20. Okay, let's get Ike leveled to the max. Oh, and then I'm sure, I am sure... that the Hawk King is going to uh, go after this Lagoo's enemy. He goes after Tanith. Hopefully Tanith won't kill this one. Oh, nope, she does. Okay. Never mind. So Ike is not fully leveled. All those experience points I threw at Joffrey are a waste. I don't... Why is it that every single uh, uh, video in this uh, newest lock series seems to end with tragic death. It's, it's sad. Oh well. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it.